Uh, hello guys, uh, my name is Ndoza Shabani. Welcome back to Vlogdown Series. Uh, on this tutorial, we're just gonna continue where we left off with pick and place. Oh, I'm sorry about that. We have a pick and place. Uh, ABBS simulation. So, what we need right now, we just have to make sure that the robot follows the same path, but now it has to pick up this. Uh, object and then put it on top of the conveyor right so now we have the pet that it must follow it's gonna follow the same pet but now we just have to tell it to pick it up to pick up this guy and then drop it here that's what we have to do right now which means we have like less work to do but uh we have to be very very uh we have to pay much attention on this one because it's a trick one it's like you're coding it now we have to include sensors and stuff so we have to include sensors uh you know, you just have to give it some instructions, but now we we need to pay our attention. So then, what I'm going to tell you, what I'm going to show you is where all of that can be uh, actually done. So now we need to go to the next stage. We go to modeling. So onto modeling, and then well, we don't we don't have it here. We go to simulation. You go to station logic, so now this is where you like are uh, connecting signals and stuff. So you like usually, I don't know if like you if you if, if you if you know when if you remember when we are uh, dealing with C, uh, PLC where we're connecting everything together, like the way we, we were coding PLC is like the same as this one. We just have to connect things together now to choose which component we're gonna use and then connect them together into our. Uh, a great sequence that's gonna um that's gonna do that's gonna make the robot do what we want it to do so now what we have here first of all let us look at the robot so we have the robot here and then it has the pet so when it follows the pet when it, it follows the pet it goes straight to this point and then straight down onto this point and remember this point this one here is exactly on the surface of this object so which means it's gonna touch the object and then go pick up and then come back here and then touch this object as well you see so now what we need to do the first thing we need to do we need to set the position of the object so we need to set the position of this object so that the robot will know okay it's actually at this uh position the object is, 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 is this one here and then what we need to do is to say to the robot when it goes to that position and then it's gonna collide with this object and then it has to pick it up when it as soon as it collides with it and then it must pick it up so now let us first start at the position so i said the position position of an object now i have the position of the object i have it here where well, i can just leave it like that and then i say when it collides with the object that is set into the position it must pick it up so now i'm saying when it collides which means i need a collusion sensor but i'm not going to take this one i just want to show you where you can find it you go to sensors you go up straight to your collusion sensor and say when it collides with the sensor it must pick it up all right and it's going to pick it up and then now we need to tell how it's going to how it's going to pick it up it's going to attach it or it's going to uh you've seen that one the creep the one that's just it's like it's like it's creeping it so nope it's just gonna attach it so i need to tell it that it must attach it which means i need to attach but now go to action and then use an action it's gonna say it's something that it's gonna do and it's gonna attach it and then it's gonna after attaching it it's gonna pick it up go all this way and then when it gets here it's gonna drop it here but it's gonna drop it when it gets to this point, which means it's gonna first collide again with this one, and then it's gonna drop the first one. So now I go back to my logic. I say under collusion, which means because it's gonna collide. I remember it's gonna collide for the second time. When it collides with with the another with uh, with another another object, it must drop the, the part. So then, which means it must do an action, which is the touch i think that's the touch i don't know 
So then now, which means it's gonna let go of the object. And then, see, so now I have everything that I wanted. And then close. So now, I go back to my robot. I say, you collide, it goes straight here, it collide, and then it attaches with this, it attaches this guy, picks it up, and then it moves all the path straight to that one. Then when it gets to that point, it collides again. The, the, the collision system is going to be activated. Collides again, and then it must drop it. See, so now when it collides again, it must drop it, drop whatever it's carrying, right? So now I need to determine, I need to uh, go to properties of each and every one of these. So now, ways, 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 positioner, right? I go to positioner first. I need to go to properties, 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 and I say I'm positioning part one, which is this one, right? We named it as part one. So now I say I go. I first of all, I need to understand the point of this one, right? I need to understand the point of this one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna say close for now, or apply. Just leave it like that. Apply, and then close. And then I go to part one. Now I say uh, set position. I need to know the point. So the first point is this one, right? It's seven. Well, 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 that's, that's, that's like that's too much. But still, the point that I want of that of this one is actually this point here. Right? But now I don't know how to get to it. I can just go click on it, just like I did before when when I was uh, naming the point. Just go come back to my positioner. See. Uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm not setting the position. I'm setting the properties. I say my part one is actually here, and then I go click on top of it. This is where my part one is, and then click right here. Make sure this guy is blinking or any of these is blinking before you click here, right? And then I click, then I have the. Uh, I have this, this. I have something like that. Then I can just take it down because it's straight on the ground. I want to take it on the ground. Then make it zero. Zero. Oh, I'll leave it like that. One seven is fine. We'll see you later. Okay. So now I have it there. That's my part one. Then close. So this is the position. I've set the position of 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 the first part that needs to be picked up. This is where that's that's the position where it is. So the robot will know that at this position, I'm gonna find this object and I'm gonna have to pick it up. But now, how are you going to know that you have found the object? You're going to collide with it. So, I'm going to collision sensor one, and then I'm setting the properties. The, what's going to collide? The, my tool, which is this tool. So, when it goes there, the tool is going to collide with part one. It's going to collide with this part. And then, if it somehow misses it, miss it, it must miss it by 10 millimeters. So, if it misses it by 10 millimeters, fine. Say, maybe... It just don't get straight to it. Maybe it turns, uh, it turns here and then go back. Still, maybe the, the distance is ten meter, ten millimeter, which means he still, he will still manage to pick it up, even though it didn't reach it or it didn't get uh, to touch it. But still, it's gonna be able to pick it up. You see, and then that is why I'm saying ten millimeter, uh, nearly miss, and apply, and then I can just. Go click another one as soon as I press apply, it's fine. I can go another one. So, this one this is the second one again. My tool is actually gonna collide with the second part now. So, when this one has been picked up and then it's gonna come here and then drop it here, it's gonna collide with this one. The tool is gonna collide with this one. If, if, if you have seen when, it, when it's following the pet, it actually comes here and then like touches this part, and then go back up return to the to home position but now when it touches it it's gonna it's gonna if you, even if it misses by 10 meters it's fine it's gonna touch it and then once it touches it i want it to attach to the to the to, to, to the attach detach i think that's detach i just don't know how to pronounce it and then properties so now that's it's gonna let go of part one so it's gonna pick up it up pick it up there carry carry it all the way to this point and then drop it so this is what i'm saying 
must profit then apply done and then what's going to be attached you go to attach my tool is going to pick up this part part one it's going to attach part one and then go drop it into this part this is that point so you apply and then close so everything is perfect but they don't end there so the robot must know how all these uh all these logic uh how are they related to each other and then you go to your static logic you go to design but before i do that let me go to signal for i need to make sure that i can reset my this whole thing just put reset and then see it must stay this is it. it must stay high all the time click okay there you go fine never mind that so then go to design you go to design this is where you're going to be designing the thing so now we have to set the position you have your position right there and then when you press reset it goes to the position you set the position these are the position coordinates and then the part that is part one that is being positioned and then now what you need to do you need to say now when collision sensor one and collision sensor one way really, collision sensor one i want you to attach so when collision sensor one is activated it's active the sense is always active so you don't need to be ex executed it's always active it's active is a sensor then when it when when it's active when when it activated when it gets a signal so the output must come here and then execute the attacher so then it's going to attach so the reason we have executed here because the attacher is like it's like a, it's going to do an action it's going to execute so it's going to do an action it's going to uh attach right the when attaches it's fine it's going to do whatever it does and then come here to this point again say we have another collision sensor now this is the second one where it's gonna collide uh, with the second part and then when 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 this one is activated it must detach and then activate that one so just leave it like that. you're done so this one is not connected to this one nope because this one has nothing to do with that one so now being this one being activated does not does not mean it must activate this one this one will be activated with the collision it's a sensor you don't need this one to activate it okay so just leave it like that go to compose go back to your view right you have it like this right now so now all these things are actually placed in order right here that's that's where we're like uh coding creating a code whatever stuff uh, so now leave this one like this and you can go back now and see if it's gonna do exactly what it's supposed to do what you're gonna do first of all you need to make sure that you go to synchronize so that you kind of like uploading the, this whole thing that you've done then wait for it to upload it into the controller there you go now it's done and then you just go to simulation and press play and see what happens and then there you go it's moving so let's wait for it to see if it picks it up ah, it's pushing it down pick it up there you go and then you must go and drop it on top of that one right must drop it on top of that one not on top exactly into it exactly onto it and then drop it okay it's failing to drop it it is simple failing to drop it and then it's going it's returning home with it it's failing to drop it okay now there's something we didn't do remember i told you this is just like this is not an actual part we don't need it here because we're not going to be moving that part only so now we can just say stop and then say uh say reset 
So I've set recess. Remember, I reset the last set there. So this is my recess. This is it here. Set recess. So now when I say recess, it goes back there. So now what I need to do, I need to make this one disappear because I don't need it there. It's not going to be there. It was just there for demonstration to make sure that I have all the points that I need. So now, okay. So now and see if I try it again, what's going to happen. But before I do that, I need to make sure that I synchronize again. You know, make sure all the, all the boxes are ticked. Now it's finished. And then I can just play it here if I want to. Just play it here. Then watch it going straight to the Please pick it up. Okay, please go with it. See. That is locker. I love that. I wanted to make sure that it drops it. It has to drop it. Put it down. Drop it. Okay, okay. Something is wrong there. I don't know why it's not dropping, but I think I should. We should work on that. We should work on that. Say, go back to simulation. Say, when it's done, reset. There you go. So you have your point back to that point. So now, what you can do, you can just go straight to collision sensor tool and then mod well, go to properties. Say that okay, the miss must be 20. In case it misses the point by 20, let's say apply. Apply and then go to detach. Let's say it's actually parallel this my tool and then it's gonna detach uh <coughs> this part. It's gonna detach part one, yes, that's that's correct. Then say okay, close and now go back home. Let's try to synchronize that. Let me close that. Then synchronize. Okay. Uh, go back to play simulation. Play. Watch it. Mm, ah, I don't know what the problem is. Stop it. I'll just stop it. Reset. I don't know what the problem is. And again, this one is, you see, it's no longer down on the ground. You just need to put it back onto the ground. Go right click on it. Set position. And then set position. You see, put it on the ground. Say zero. And apply. It's on the ground. Great. Close. And then play again. Play simulation again. So you need to make sure that you you uh, pay attention to everything. You try and fix everything. Okay, now now that is down, it's not it's not reaching it. You won't reach it. Okay, stop it. Stop it. There you go. So now what I need to do is to set the position of it. I'll uh, put it back up, and then set this position as, as well, and then pull it up. So I, I don't. I don't think it's actually. I don't think the the tip of of the uh of the tool is touching at this point of of uh, of the part. So we need to make sure that it touches the point just like it did before. So now, okay, I'm sorry about that. Just need to work on this part. Oh, before I do that, let me undo, yeah. Undo again. So it was fine up there. And then come to this one here. Set the position as well. Okay. Set the position, lift it up.
uh, lift it up say but it must be just like and say apply and close where is where is this yeah. oh remember what you call click okay and then you go to simulation or you can just wait from here play go pick it up there's nothing there it up drop it please ah. oh, cool. I don't know how to make that work I really have no clue oh yeah Okay, I think I should return that one to zero. I have to, you can't be hanging up there. Just return it to zero. Zero, apply, and then also go to the positioner. Set it to zero. I guess I have to do that as well. Set it to zero here. Zero, and apply. That the position is like at zero so that's going on that is at zero and then now i can try and play it go down first pick it up stop what's that and then I need to go back to pad. I can just go back to pad and then you see is this point that is on top there. A point, that point, that point, that point, that point, that point. So you see this point. This is the point where it's supposed to pick it up. So I can just I'll take it down maybe like that. There you go. Let's say so fine. So I go to that point. Yeah. And again this point here. Take this one down a little bit. So that it touches it. And okay, go home. And now I can start the simulation. See what happens. Go there. You must reset home first. Home, go down. Okay, it's failing to pick it up. Uh, go back to first one again. I just want to make sure that it does not leave the ground. It can't be hanging. Go to this path. Okay. Modify the pet set position. See. I want to go down by ten millimeter. Ten. Say ten. Then apply. It goes down by ten. See five now. So it's going to be fifteen. Then close. Right, okay, that's great. So now we can play it again. 
you must return home first. Go down. Ah, it's never gonna pick it. So I'm not gonna pick it up until it's up there. It's just never gonna pick it up. Okay. Stop. Okay now I I don't want it to pick it up. I just want it to to at least put it down. Just want it to at least drop it return home. check here I think everything is perfect okay go view so then now what I need to do just take this part put it up back to the origin set position to be 170 let me try 150 or 100 Okay, it's okay, say play. There you go. It's gonna pick it up now. Pick it up. There you go. Oh, I love that. So now it managed, it finally managed to drop it. So now it has dropped it and then it's returning home. So go back home. This is where it's gonna rest. It's returning home. And stop. Done. So now what you need to do, play again. Oh no, before we play again, we need to, we're supposed to. Reset so that we have a part going back there. So now, before we do that, let's stop and reset. Oh, now the part is up there. Okay, close here. Close. So now it managed to finally pick it up from there, and then the part is right up here. So, in the next tutorial, guys, we're just gonna have to. The part coming it's gonna pick this part put it here and then we're gonna have another one waiting to be picked up and then this one is gonna be just sliding straight to this other side you know so on the next tutorial it's gonna be something like that but for now at least we managed to we actually managed to pick it up from the ground and then we put it here that's that's really, really nice we should be proud of that so guys I just made it until the next uh, tutorial thank you bye